Hi, today I am going to explain, an American spy thriller film called Red Sparrow. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. In the opening scene, we see that the United States and Russia are still at each other's throats. A full-fledged war is not an option for any of them. They have turned to spying. However, traditional spies have become obsolete and easy to capture. So, the Russians have developed female spies, who have mastered the art of seduction. They seduce their targets to extract secret information. In the next scene, we see a girl named Dominica, who is a ballet dancer. Since her teens, she has been dancing and taking care of her ailing mother. One day, while performing a dance on stage, her partner jumps and lands on her leg, causing her leg breaking badly. She was immediately taken to the hospital. After a surgery, the doctor tells her that she will never be able to dance again. With this, her dancing career comes to an end. She becomes upset, as the dance was her only source of income. After a few months, we see that Dominica is still walking with the help of a cane. One day, Dominica's uncle, Ivan, who serves as the deputy director of Russia's foreign intelligence, comes to meet her. He tells Dominica that her replacement has been found, which means she has to find another source of income. Ivan offers to help her and asks to work with them. He wants to include Dominica in his team as a spy. In exchange, he will pay for all her mother's medical expenses. Dominica agrees to join them, as her mother's medical expenses are so high. Then Ivan gives Dominica an envelope that contains some pictures and a recording of the conversation, which implies that her leg was broken intentionally by his partner, so that his girlfriend could take her place. Upon hearing this, Dominica becomes very angry. She goes to his partner's house and beats them badly. The next day, she meets her uncle to join them. Her uncle gives her the task of seducing a dangerous gangster named Dimitri and bringing him to a hotel room so that they can catch him. The next day, Dominica goes to the hotel and dresses beautifully. Then she goes to the bar to gain the attention of Dimitri. After talking for a while, she takes him to the hotel room. But no one comes to catch him, which scares Dominica. Dimitri also becomes suspicious of her and attacks her. Just then, a person with a black helmet arrives there and kills him. The man turns out to be an SVR agent named Constantine, sent by Ivan. Soon after, he takes Dominica to her uncle. Dominica tells Ivan that she will not work with them anymore. Ivan responds that she has become a part of this secret agency and knows all their secrets. If she doesn't work with them, she will be killed. In the next scene, we see a man named Nate working as an American spy. One day, he goes to meet one of his assets, named Marble, who shares Russia's secret information with him. Just as they are leaving, the police arrive there. Nate begins firing to divert their attention, allowing Marble to escape. Because he does not want Marble to be caught and his identity exposed to everyone. Nate is taken into custody and handed over to the American embassy. He meets his superiors there. They tell Nate that Marble is safe, but he could have been caught because of his mistake. Therefore, they decided to suspend him. Nate requests that they give him one more chance, saying that he has worked with Marble for years and that nobody else can be trusted. The panel has decided to give him one more chance to prove himself. They send Nate to Budapest to meet Marble again. In the next scene, we see Ivan go to meet the director of the SVR, and General Vladimir. They show him the footage of Nate's meeting in Gorky Park. In the footage, the face is not clearly visible. Ivan believes that someone from the Russian Secret Service shared the information with Nate. Then, they plan to identify the individual and take him into custody. For this, they need someone who can do the job. Ivan suggests Dominica for this mission. The following day, he meets Dominica and assigns her to a mission in Budapest. There, she has to gain Nate's trust and reveal Marble's identity. But before that, he asks Dominica to receive training as a secret spy, so that she can save herself in any situation. Then Dominica is sent to a school that specializes in training sparrows. The next day, she attends her first class to become Sparrow. She has to perform various tasks there, and learn how to identify their targets and seduce them to gain information. After a few days, Dominica's training is completed, and she is sent to Budapest. There, she stays with a fellow Sparrow, named Marta, who is there for another mission. Then Dominica starts following Nate. She even joins a swimming club where Nate comes every day. Dominica deliberately passes by Nate multiple times, so that she can attract him towards her. Nate also starts getting attracted to her. One day, while walking down the street, Nate sees Dominica, and tries to talk to her. While talking, her words make Nate suspicious. The next day, Dominica goes to the swimming club, but doesn't find Nate there. Even her ID card is missing. 
Elsewhere, Nate finds out that Dominica is a Russian agent, and she wants to find out about Marble. His superiors ask him to gather more information about her. Therefore, Nate repeatedly meets Dominica and pretends that he doesn't know anything about her. One day, when she goes to the American embassy to meet Nate, she sees her fellow sparrow, Marta, talking to an American politician named Stephanie. When she comes back home at night, she realizes that Marta is not there. She searches her room and finds some photos, which reveal that Marta is going to meet Stephanie to obtain secret information, in exchange for a lot of money. Despite following Nate for several days, Dominica has not been able to find any information about Marble. One day, Ivan comes to meet her, and asks about Marble. She lies to Ivan, saying that she has been helping her partner Agent Marta, in her mission for several days, as a reason for the delay. Ivan gets angry and leaves. Later that evening, when Dominica returns home, she finds Marta's dead body in the bathtub. Suddenly, Constantine arrives there. He attacks her and says, this happens when someone shares the secret mission with others. The man threatens Dominica to complete the mission quickly, or she will also be killed. Meanwhile, Nate shares Marble's message with his team, saying that Dominica is a sparrow, and can be a threat to them. However, Nate believes that they can trust her. The following day, he brings Dominica to his apartment, and reveals that he knows she is a Russian agent, and that she came here to find Marble. Dominica tells him that she had to join this mission, to save her mother's life. Nate assures her safety from the Russian agents, if she agrees to work as a double agent. Dominica thinks it over, and agrees to do so. Later, Nate introduces Dominica to his superiors, and they subject her to a lie detector test to assess her reliability. They ask her a few questions, and Dominica passes the test. Then she asks for $30,000 in exchange for secret information. She reveals that the girl she was accommodated with was a Russian secret agent, who was tasked with obtaining some secret information from Stephanie. However, she died before she could complete her mission, and now Dominica has been given the task. Upon hearing this, they agreed to pay her. The next day, Dominica meets with Stephanie. She hands him a disc, in exchange for money. Meanwhile, secret agents, from both Russia and America keep an eye on her. Dominica pretends to validate the discs, but in reality, she switches them with the fake ones. After the meeting, Stephanie comes out and sees that American agents surround her. She realizes that she has been caught. She tries to escape, but suddenly, she has an accident with a truck, and dies on the spot. Her death is a huge shock for the Russians, as she worked for them. Ivan becomes suspicious of Dominica and her seniors, because they were the only ones who knew about this mission. Both are called back to Russia, and tortured severely to find out the truth. Dominica tells Ivan that she did this, to gain Nate's trust and reach Marble. Ivan believes her words. Therefore, he agrees to send her back to Budapest again. But Ivan still doubts Dominica, so he puts a spy behind her. Before leaving, Dominica visits Ivan's house to meet him. After arriving in Budapest, she meets Nate again, and Nate is happy to see her. However, he still does not tell her anything about Marble. In the middle of the night, Dominica sees SVR agent Constantine arrive, and starts torturing Nate to ask him about Marble. At first, Dominica assists in inflicting harm on Nate. Suddenly, she attacks the agent and kills him. Then Dominica takes Nate to the hospital. There, she receives a surprise visit of General Vladimir. He reveals himself as a marble. Hearing this, Dominica is shocked. General confesses that he used to work for Russia. But one day, his wife got sick, and an American doctor could have saved her. However, the Russian agency wouldn't allow him to receive treatment, because they were afraid that he would give them confidential information. As a result, his wife died. Since then, he has decided to work as a double agent. He told Dominica all this because he knew he would be caught sooner or later. He wants Dominica to expose him. So that she can take his place. After a few days, we see that Dominica tells the Russian agency about Marble. And the Russian agents arrested Ivan, instead of General Vladimir, because Dominica told them that Ivan was Marble. She had been fabricating some evidence, and she blamed him for the botched exchange in London. She even went to Ivan's house before going back to Budapest, and left the stolen glass from Nate's house there so that she could prove Ivan had met with Nate through his fingerprint on it. Nate is also confirming that Ivan is a marble. After getting evidence and final confirmation from Nate, the Russian agent killed Ivan, and took Dominica away from there. In the final scene, we see Dominica being honored in a Russian military ceremony, and living a good life with his mother.